Hi, today I will show you both electronic boxes, battery connections and tell you a few tips. So, let's get started. Here you can see two 12 volt batteries connected in series and protected with 60 ampere fuse. Because I have two electric motors with rated current of 15 amperes each, I put 60 amperes uh, fuse. So it is strong enough to conduct current for both motors and also weak enough in the case of uh, short circuit because uh, batteries can provide momentarily around 100 amperes. Let me answer one of the top questions. What kind of fuse do I have to use to protect my electronics? Well, you don't use fuse to protect your electronics. You use fuse to protect your cables in the case of short circuit. Otherwise, your cables will catch fire. So if your electronic fails, there is no fuse that can protect it. And another question that I uh, want to answer is what kind of battery management system do I have to use to not overcharge batteries? If you are using lead acid battery, uh, you don't have to use any kind of battery management system and you can connect uh, these batteries directly to alternator. And if you look closely, table on battery uh, that says floating use uh, and the voltage is between 13.6 to 13.8 volts. Floating use is actually voltage uh, applied to battery to remain 100% uh, capacity without causing any harm to the battery. But if you have uh, lithium batteries, uh, you have to use battery management si system because lithium batteries can overcharge and they can be very serious uh, safety hazard. So remember to uh, use uh, battery management system. But if you can choose by lead acid batteries, for the sake of simplicity. And please put a uh, fuse uh, right behind the battery and not in the control box, because in this way, all the wiring uh, is protected. Otherwise, uh, if somewhere between the uh, battery and the control box uh, cable insulation is damaged and cause the short circuit, cables can catch fire. So this is very, very important to put fuse uh, directly on the battery. Let's open first electronic box. Uh, for sure, I need some sort of cable management system, but let's focus on the parts that we have here. High current relay to uh, power on and off the main supply, uh, remote control receiver and saber tooth. Uh, this relay is uh, connected with uh, those three switches. So actually, any one of those three switches can shut off the main power supply. Okay, and now let's Take a look in uh, another electronic box. Okay, here we have Arduino Nano with relay board, DC-DC converter from 35 to 5 volts for powering the Arduino Nano relay board and also the server motor, uh, which is connected with the carburetor to throttle the gasoline engine. Uh, here I have four switches just to uh, switch between different blinking mode for, for the beacon lights and the switch and the control light uh, for 
the alternator. That's all I have prepared for today. Uh, leave your thoughts or questions in the comment section. For the next time, I will prepare electrical schematic. So you will see all the wiring and the electrical uh, connections. If you found my content valuable, please consider supporting my channel by hitting like and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye.